Welcome to the Driving Star new episode. I don't even know what to talk about no more. Uh, you know, I don't. I don't want to talk about ride sharing anymore. All right, it's just you know, I'm working my 11, 10, 10, 11 hours every day, and now my account that just got approved. Now it's just kind of like, like, what do I do? Why do I like? Well, what's what's you know what's? What I already know what my plan is, but it's just like you know, how do I get there? Because it's going to be frustrating now. Because now. I'm going to be so desperate to get my day trading going that I might not give too much importance to my right sharing. But my right sharing has got to be like, I got to be on point. You know, so what, you know, what, what do I do? What do I do? Oh my God, look at this. It is 100 degrees and it's only 2 p.m. And the weather here in Austin peaks at five, or it's gonna be like a hundred and something. You can cook on a rock here. It's the discipline part that's the one that's really got me right now because, okay, so now. I got the day trading uh, uh, done right, you know, I passed, but you know, I'm getting nervous. Now when I'm, when I'm trading, I'm even more nervous than passing it. And I don't want to make a mistake because then a mistake costs me and I lose the account and then I have to go back into the passing, which is, you know, don't get me wrong, it's, it's, it's not a big deal, but you know, I wanted to get it done, pass in one try, in which I did. And now I'm in the fun day, so I'm like, dude, I'm like, freaking, I'm so nervous. I really don't want to mess up this this trading thing that I got, man. Damn, it's so windy out here. I hope you guys can hear me. I love doing this, man. Look at this. So relaxing when I'm all by myself. I need to stay focused on, you know, wake up, keep my routine going. But how long can I do this for? Shit. Kind of like I'm really excited, but I'm trying to keep it like calm down because then I'm, I'm recording it. So if I mess up, you know. I'm still gonna post this. That's why I didn't post a video last week. Cause it was just like, you're so focused on passing, on passing, on passing. And I didn't wanna make a mistake. And I was like, I was like right there. You know, I was close, I was close. All I needed was to make it $300 and then I would've, uh, uh, I would've passed it. But I made a mistake, it cost me 500. So now I had to make a thousand dollars again to pass it. Just going in circles here in the grass. Feels so nice. So very uh, sensitive to other people's opinions on trading. You know, if I'm watching somebody and it happens to be that uh, they're making a trade that looks just like mine in the opposite direction, then I look at mine as a negative because it makes me believe that I'm actually doing something wrong. <laughs> I gotta really watch out the people. That, well, you know what? It's not that I gotta watch out who I listen to. I'm just not gonna listen to anybody. I can't even watch a YouTube video without me, to, you know, without it affecting my decisions. It's just like, you know, it's like you, you try to you try to do things like your way, but then somebody else's thinking kind of just gets in the way and, and it blocks you. And you know, you make these bad decisions that actually cost you money. Good, good, good advice is hard to come by because you don't even know if it's good advice until you try it. And then you try it, you mess up. Right now, I'm in the mood of just not taking any advice from like anybody. Uh, there is there's a Creator DC. Hey, listen, because a Creator DC, the guy that actually got me into all of this. Uh, 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 yeah, okay, yeah, we got a crazy guy. Yeah, we got a crazy Heard me, and now um, he's just started talking loudly. I know exactly. Well, now now I know exactly how I need to take my trades. Um, if I veer off of it, kind of like today, I veered off a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. I veer off a little bit. Uh, the trade did go in my direction, but you know, I made a little bit of money, real money, and now. Um, you know, I don't, I don't want to do it again. I just I just really wanted to test out if it was actually real money. And yes, you know, now, so, so, you know, I guess we're going to find out once I get my first 
ca uh, uh, once I cash out, you know, on my first month. So I don't want to cash out every week or anything like that. I just I want to cash out, you know, 30 days later. But then what do I do with the money? You know, oh, not only that, not only that, you know that I can open about, I can have three accounts. I can have, I can have three accounts and I can actually trade on one and that one gets duplicated on the other account. So if I only make $2,000 for, if I only make $2,000 on one account, well, I make $2,000 on the other ones too, but vice versa, you know, if I make two on one, you know, and I, or I lose two, then I lose, I lose two on the other ones too. So I have to watch out like when I do that. How long until actually, man, now I'm really excited because my studying is actually paying off, but it ain't nothing. Hey, 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 hey. My glasses almost fell with the wind. So you're like, how, how long until I can actually leave ride sharing? So this is the actual goal that I had in mind the whole entire time. Like what happens, like what if, what if? This is uh, my first sponsor that I met, this gentleman, Diff Eyewear, diff.com, Diff whatever. He sends me free glasses whenever I want them. I mean, I, I like his glasses. Dude, these things are like $200. They're expensive. They're expensive. Diff Eyewear. Um, this is, you know, I met him doing the ride sharing. So uh, he, um, I fixed a flat tire for him. And then he canceled my ride <laughs> and drove his car because I fixed his flat tire. Um, but then he called me after and said he was impressed. He's like, hey, would you, let me uh, give you some free stuff from my company. So it actually worked out. But Diff Eyewear. These are my sunglasses. My everydays that I got the account going the plan is gonna be I need to save enough money so I can stay away from right sharing for two years this is an ICT thing you know, ICT said hey you know what like, I'm gonna teach my kid you know my son how to do this blah 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 and all this stuff and once he gets it I want him before he even thinks about taking this like full time then he's gonna have to save up for at least two years so I'm gonna do that um, for me to live off of two years nice and comfortably paying all my bills with inflation and all this stuff it's about four four five a month which is technically what I'm actually making right now which is not enough but um, with my car payments my insurance the food that I buy and all that stuff you know the five grand the five 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 a month so for the year what is that like 120 five ten Five, ten, yeah, 60, so it's 120. So I need to save up 120, which is the two years. I mean, don't get me, all right, yeah, I'm, 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 like, I'm like really thinking ahead uh, of this day trading thing, but you know, I gotta, I'm planning now this way, I know what the plans are, and I don't deviate from them. It's gonna, have, man, but the thing is gonna be like, what, you know, what happens, like, okay, what happens if I don't have enough money to pay my bills? What do I do? Do I start cashing out? And using that money could be kind of kind of deceits the purpose. Not only that, uh, if I keep cashing out, then I'm I'm never gonna get there. So I'm debating. I'm debating. But like a lot of people out there, listen, I'm in I'm in credit card debt. Credit card debt. You know, uh, I'm trying to keep up with my bills, just like a lot of people out there. So I am I am doing. I'm trying to do my best, so I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and, and glamorize what I'm doing and all that stuff because I know there's people out there that are like going through some stuff, so, and for me, it's, it's crapping easy, it's crapping easy, Every, I do that's a lot of people that are really like getting hit hard with this, if I could just survive until 2025 and 2025 everything starts turning around, then, you know, then, then I've got, you know, being a little bit more positive, but I'm gonna um, prepare for the worst and hope for the best. So let's take this ride sharing to the next level. You know, I think I'm gonna be the only ride share driver that actually makes it out of ride sharing through day trading. Or at least that's actually recording it. We gonna kick ass. We gonna kick I said that to a lot of these kids over there. Okay, we gonna kick a booty. We gonna kick booty. Gonna get out of freaking ride sharing. Man, I'm still fucking so freaking aggravated with this crap. All right? And uh, with the idea of never, ever, ever going back to ride sharing. Maybe once in a while. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Because I'm just, I'm sick and tired of doing it. It's just I have out, like, don't get me wrong. Once, 
I'm gonna be talking about it. It's like, yeah, dude, I did a freaking ride share and I had to deal with the stealing and all that stuff. But you know, I, I want I want to talk shit. I want to talk shit. It's like, yeah, the reason why I got here is because it pushed me to get the hell out. Because all these companies, what they do is they keep freaking stealing from you. You know, and, and they, they don't freaking value you. Eh? And then the next thing you know, it's why these companies go bad. And I, and then all these people are investing money, okay, on both Uber and Lyft. While Uber and Lyft are actually stealing from their own drivers and overcharging the uh, the, the riders. So, you know, and don't get me wrong, they're good companies. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a good idea, and I don't know, you know, they, they don't want to talk about what's going on internally because it's like a secret. You know, I don't know what secret is. Like, it's an AI that does all the work for you. You ain't got to do nothing. Come on, open, buddy. Oh, it's so freaking hot. So it looks like I'm going to be doing my videos like this from now on. Basically, a day in the life, what I'm doing. All right, and then my second video in the week is me with my actual trades. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be going live with them at all. So I'm just gonna say, it's like, you know what, this is my trade. I made money, lost money, and then we'll, we'll see how it goes from there. Wow, it's, it's freaking it's hot as hell, man. You wouldn't believe it. my car is like heating up like really fast. I don't even know, it just changed. What the hell? All right, so one day at a time. Look at this, I got a, I got a Tesla behind me. And I bet you it's a ride share driver. It's one of my spots. Oh, no, no, no. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not a ride share driver. She's got a dog. All right. So, I'll see you guys. I'll see you next week. I'll see you about doing the videos just this way. It is uh, basically a vlog of, you know, what's going through my head through the whole, you know, through my day with ride sharing. Okay. And day trading. And then my second video is going to be basically my progress of my day trading for the whole entire week. So, you know, hey, like this is like I've been doing lately. So this is my trades, you know, like I, I, I've been doing trades like this and I take notes just like this, man. So if you guys take a look at these, I have a Discord on it and I've been putting all my trades in there. I journaled all my trades, whether I made money on them or I lost, uh, or I lost money. I put them in there just to see like, you know, like how my progression goes. So, all right, uh, let's keep making this money. I'll see you guys. Peace.